Today I'm gonna to talk about curls and I have a big process that I have to go through for me to have straight hair with curls. What I have to first do is after I get out of the shower I put my product in to help smooth it down and then I let it air dry for a little bit about until about 50% dry so it's not as much um, heat on my hair. Then what I do is I go through and I round brush my hair and get it to this straight you can tell it still has a little bit of wave to it, especially around the hairline. And then what I do from that point is I have to go through and I have to flat iron it. I usually will only flat iron how about halfway down my hair just to keep the heat off my ends. And then from there I'll go in and I will do my big curls. So it's quite the process when I go through and curl my hair, but I want to show you how I go through it um, so you can get there if you have curly hair. So I've already gone through and put my smoothing um, product in my hair and I've gone through and round brushed it. And then I put in some thermal spray. My most favorite thermal spray is the Lonza Thermal Defense and that's what I use today. I sprayed it all over my hair to put the barrier in between my hair. So I have my hair and I have my heat tool and then I'm gonna put on the spray so there's a barrier in between my heat and my hair so it'll block the heat from getting to my hair as quickly. So now that the thermal defense is in my hair, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just section off my hair and go through and straighten it. And that is how I have to go through and straighten my roots every time. Now I'm going to go through, now that my roots are all straightened, now I can go through and I can curl my hair. What I'm going to use today is a one and three quarters inch barrel. It is, I'll show you this. Here's my one and three quarter inch barrel. It is pretty big and I don't recommend you use this unless your hair holds curl really well because even with my curly hair and how well my hair holds the curl, this falls out pretty darn fast. Um, the first day it falls out pretty fast. The second day it holds in a little bit better. 
and then I just have loose curls for the rest of the time that I have my curls. Um, it's a great curling iron, but I just, today, what I want to do is I want to do big, loose curls for you to see. So that's why I'm choosing the one and three quarter inch barrel. The first thing I do is I start off with sections. I feel like it's easier to do sections and work my way up. Another way that you could do it is I pull one side forward and then I know that everything back here has to be curled first. So I would take this section and curl it until all of this section is brought forward and it's all curled. And then I would flip this back and I would curl this section, bring it forward, curl this section, bring it forward until I bring this all forward and it's curled. That's an easy way to do it on your first day of doing your hair because your hair is already straight and you can see where all the curls go. But any other day where you're just touching up curls, you can just find the pieces that are straight or the easier way to do it is to just take it in sections. So today I'm going to take it in the sections. And I'm gonna grab kind of a bigger section because this is a bigger curling iron. I'm going to wrap my hair all the way in the curling iron, leaving out these ends. And then I'm going to take it out. And as I'm taking it out, I'm twisting my curling iron and then pull straight down through the ends. Let me do it again for you. Okay, wrap all of the hair up into the curling iron. And then as I untwist it, I'm twisting the barrel, watch right here. I'm twisting the barrel of my curling iron as I go out. So this is all twisted all the way down and then I pull straight down through the ends. From this point, I am not touching these curls at all. If I touch them, they'll fall out really fast and I won't have any curl left over. Because like I said, these are this is about as tight as it'll be and throughout the day it's gonna fall from here to where there's very little curl by the end of the day on the first day. So that's why I don't want to run my fingers through. I don't want to brush it, nothing. I don't want to touch it until it's completely cooled and I'm all done with my hair. Take down the next section. I bring everything forward so I can see where I'm working. Wrap everything up in my curling iron, except for the ends. Hold it there for just a minute, filling it once it gets hot. Then I'm gonna take it out and I'm gonna keep twisting my barrel as I go down and then pull straight through the bottom. I am using a curling iron called a Marcel curling iron and what a Marcel curling iron is is it is a curling iron that does not have the spring in it. For me this is a very easy curling iron because I learned in hair school how to use it. For most people this would be a very difficult curling iron because as you can see this just flops open. If you can use these these are great because I'm able to adjust my tension but the spring is probably going to be the easiest for most everybody.
Now that I've got it all curled, I wait just a few minutes. I let it cool off so that it, um, when it's hot, it will lose its shape if I run my fingers through. So now that I've given it a second to cool off, now I'm going to run my fingers through. I could just leave it and just go and do my thing and have it fall out through the day. And that's the way I would get the tightest curl. But to show you, I'm going to just run my fingers through. At this point, I would put in a dry texture spray to give it a little bit of movement. Or there's another thing I like, two things. A dry texture spray gives it a lot of texture, but it gives it a little bit more of a product feel. Or if I don't want the feeling of product, I'll put in my Sculpt and Define, um, which is like, it's a puck and it's like a pomade, but it's lightweight and it's not greasy. And I'll just use a little bit of that, rub it through my fingers, and you'll see that on a lot of the other videos. I also mix it with dry oil to kind of cocktail the two together and make it a little bit of a softer feel. Mix those two together and I'll start with running it through my ends, a little bit through the middle, and when I have a little bit left, that's when I run it through the roots. But just running my fingers through and kind of piecing it out to give it a good, um, soft wave to it is how I've been wearing my hair the most lately. And I love it. Um, I could add some teasing in here. I could, you know, grab some hairspray and get the flyaways. But there's how I have been curling my hair lately. And hopefully you can follow along with this and you can do the same thing with yours. Um, I think you'll really like this curl. And if your hair holds well, if your hair holds the curl really well, try the one and three quarters inch curling iron. If not, if your hair doesn't hold curl well, I would go with a one inch curling iron. Hope that helps. Thanks.